The surge of asylum seekers into New York has made immigration and border security a flashpoint in several competitive congressional races across the state. Our Washington Bureau reporter Kevin Fry looks at how these issues are playing out in the battle to represent the Hudson Valley and the southern tier on Capitol Hill. The tweet came on Monday. Congressman Mark Molinaro sharing the debunked claim that Haitian immigrants in an Ohio town are eating pets and arguing his Democratic opponent, Josh Riley, quote, owns the situation at the southern border. I mean, no offense to anyone who, who, who is simply wishing to make their way in the world. For a year and a half, people like me, moderate, calm, uh, reasonable people have been saying that this country is, is experiencing a crisis. Riley, in an interview, fired back. What he's doing is rage tweeting conspiracy theories. He needs to put his phone down, take a deep breath, get off of Twitter and do his job. Immigration has become a major issue in the 19th Congressional District, which stretches from Ithaca to the Hudson Valley. Both candidates have criticized the Biden administration's handling of the border. Molinero has touted the House Republicans' strict border bill, while Riley backs a Senate proposal. Neither has become law. Molinero cast Riley as untrustworthy on immigration, pointing in part to his work as a lawyer while Donald Trump was in the White House. Josh Riley advanced the open border agenda that led the Biden administration to surrender the southern border. His legal argument advanced by him was that the administration has the right to ignore the law. Riley disputes this. During the Trump years, he helped draft friend of the court briefs on behalf of former Homeland Security officials, challenging certain Trump immigration policies like the so-called Muslim ban. Another filing Riley worked on blasted Trump's efforts to undo DACA, which allows undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children to live and work here without fear of deportation. The filing called DACA smart policy. When you have limited law enforcement resources, you can choose like I would do and focus them on the drug traffickers, focus it on the human traffickers, focus it on keeping dangerous people out of this country. Molinero also has criticized Riley's work as a Senate staffer on a 2013 immigration bill. That measure called for additional border fencing and more border patrol agents alongside a pathway to citizenship for potentially millions of undocumented immigrants. It never became law. He forwarded the and takes credit for drafting a mass amnesty bill. He should probably also take that up with Marco Rubio and Lindsey Graham and John McCain and Jeff Flake. That was a bipartisan bill. The battle in the 19th district is just one of a handful of races across New York that could determine which party controls the U.S. House in January. In Washington, Kevin Fry, New York One.